What is packing with you, YouTube? This is your man, King Howie, back with another video. And as Packer fans are celebrating the first week win against the Chicago Bears in epic fashion, there's been a lot of speculation if Aaron Rodgers will play against the Vikings in our second home game of the season. Um, after the knee injury that Aaron Rodgers suffered on Sunday night against the Chicago Bears, which everybody keeps saying Khalil Mack hurt Aaron Rodgers. Khalil Mack didn't hurt Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> and just to point out another thing too, Aaron Rodgers beat Khalil Mack, if you want to be technical. Khalil Mack made his two biggest plays of the night against Deshaun Kaiser, former, former quarterback for the Cleveland Browns, which he led the league that year in turnover. So what else is new? But when Aaron Rodgers came back in the game, where was Khalil Mack? Oh, 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 I remember where he was. He was chasing Randall Cobb <laughs> down the field from scoring the touchdown. But that's in the past. We're moving on to this week. Um, I don't know if Aaron Rodgers is going to play. Uh, we might not find out uh, the condition of his injury until maybe later on in the week around Friday or so. Uh, that's when they'll probably come out with an initial um, – answer to the problem um i hope he plays it'd be good to get some revenge against the vikings um but if i'm if i'm since i'm closely paying attention to this narrative of this football season i mean after that sunday night game that's all they've been talking about is the aaron Rodgers comeback victory against the bears i don't know if that is a flourishing for things to come in the future um, is this Aaron Rodgers Iron Man year to praise off the, you know, how tough Brett Favre was? Is this the year he's going to prove where he could play 16 games injured through the season and mm -hmm. some, some, uh, miraculous end of the end of the football season shit happen? Who knows? Can he carry us? to the Super Bowl injured? I don't I don't know. Those are the things that are circling around my mind right now. Is there some kind of narrative playing into Aaron Rodgers' injury? Um, I have no clue. I don't even know how hurt the guy is. We're hearing that it might be a slight tear or that's what the media is trying to cook up right now to have, you know, uh, fans of Aaron Rodgers running around here with their heads cut off like chickens. You know, especially Colin Cowherd and Skip Bayless, you know those two guys. You know they 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 read a script, man. Don't don't get into any of the emotional hype behind what they say. It's all part of a script that they're told to read and laid out in format for them to say. And you know, it it somebody got to be poked. You know, whether it's LeBron James or Aaron Rodgers or uh, who else. Who else gets poked at? Um, Coach Gruden, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jason Garrett and the Cowboys. Uh, whoever they could just, you know, say anything about to get, you know, uh, the sports media going hysterical and in an uproar, um, they're going to say it. You know, it's all for shock value. Um, it's all for response, um, clickbait. You know, they know people. They know people are not watching TV anymore, so they transfer from what they film on TV and they put it on YouTube and social media everywhere. Little segments of the show, so everybody could click on it and have an opinion on uh, on what they said and, and how they think about the certain situation. Especially in the case of Aaron Rodgers, you know, there's going to be all of this garbage being spewed um, all week long. And the main thing we, as Packer fans, what we need to be worried about is if he's going to play Sunday or not. Um, 
if you were to ask me, I believe he's going to play, and I believe we're going to win. Um, that's just how I think it's going to happen. I, I think Kirk Cousins, um, I think the defense is going to win this game for us. Knowing that Aaron Rodgers is hobbled, I think Kirk Cousins is going to probably throw a few interceptions. Uh, I think Mike Pettin mm-hmm. is going to figure out the scheme of, of of how conservative that they are playing with Kirk Cousins right now. And I think the Packers are going to take advantage of that. Um, as far as Aaron Rodgers, I think he's going to be on, on the field 100%. I don't know. Uh, that will be determined up to be, de- be determined to him. Um, but – I think he's going to be out there, and I think he's going to make enough plays for us to win this game. It's, it's not going to be a pretty game. Um, thank God it's not prime time because then, you know, there would be this whole <laughs> mashup every day on sports media. Aaron Rodgers, prime time against the Vikings and Anthony Barr. You know, all that. Kirk Cousins first, Aaron Rodgers. You know, all of the, you know, uh, advertisements going to be floating all crazy through social media and TV, and that's just – how the NFL plays things up. So with it not being a primetime game, um, I think we win this game. I don't know the exact score, um, given the fact that the Vikings did put up 24 points against the 49ers and and Jimmy Garoppolo. um, I think it's probably going to be another low-scoring game. You know, We'll probably get some of the defensive guys that we had in active back this back this week. Um, hopefully, 100% ready to rock and roll with Josh Jones and Oren Burks. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a tough game, man. This is you know two two division rivals back to back. Hey, this is what we asked for. This is why this is why the team plays the game. You know what I mean? We don't want no easy road. Um, we don't want to take the Tom Brady approach to get into Super Bowls every year. Um, make it, make, make it compete, compete. That's what I've been saying all this time. Ever since we they got Khalil Mack, we need to compete. That's the only way we're gonna win games is if we compete against these teams that we're playing against at a high level. Um, shout out to Lamont. We've been talking shit over on uh, Instagram. He's a Vikings fan. Uh, yeah, man, like I told you in that in that uh in that message, man. Kirk Cousins better bring his A game because we bring in ours. And this is your man King Howie. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And go pack go.